could you please walk me through your email building journey? Like, what does that journey look like to the both of you? Um, I can chime in on that one. So I think um, where I see a lot of marketers falling down is thinking about the email, getting the email out the door is the end goal. And so they focus a lot on designing something that looks kind of bright, shiny and new, hitting the send button and then kind of walking away from it. Um, but the way that I like to think about like creating a message that I'm putting in front of my audience is thinking about what you want them to do with the information that you're putting in front of them. So what's the end in mind goal? What's the call to action? What's the measure of success? Yeah. Uh, and then kind of working backwards from there. So if your call to action is getting them to sign up for a webinar or just making them aware of a change that's coming down the pike, um, what content needs to be part of that email to support it? So to your point, Gilda, subject line, um, body content, um, hero image, kind of how does that all support the call to action that you're trying to drive them to? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, it's it's really important to, to think about philosophically what email actually is. And, and and we can give it all sorts of, you know, fancy words and say that it's doing this and it's doing that and blah, blah, blah. But ultimately, it's advertising, right? It's, it's a form of, you know, direct marketing, advertising, call it what you want to call it. So there's three things that people have been talking about for a long time. It's the right message, the right person at the right time. 